All right, so up here at your helm, we're going to start off with the push button key switch. You have your power up top, you have your start stop for port and start stop for starboard. We're going to go ahead and push one at a time. Both engines are running. CL7 or CL5, whichever the boat has at the time, is going to light up and you're going to see your RPMs, your shifts, uh, fuel capacity, all kinds of different stuff on that screen. We're going to jump into the joystick. I know it's a huge question for a lot of people. Press the joystick button to make it active. That's your blue light right there. It's going to let me drive the boat forward, turn it if I wanted to. No, there's no way to really get that in there. But I'm just turning the top of it and pushing it forward. This is also going to let you move the boat to the side. This is what's going to make your engine start doing different things here. Go back, do all that kind of stuff. This new Hellmaster Full Maneuverability also has different shift features in it. So while I'm pushing this thing forward or even stopped, I can press the plus and minus button and change my thrust level. When I'm at thrust level 5, that's your most aggressive. Get me up to 1300. If I start bringing it down, this is something that you're going to mainly use at your dock. You're going to bring that thrust level down unless you're in a really harsh docking situation where you need a lot of extra thrust. You're usually going to run this thing on level 2, maybe level 3. Go ahead and slow us down here. You can see my shift indicator. I'm in reverse. And now back to neutral. These, this new joystick has a few different features that are actually right on the face compared to the old one. So you have, we'll start off with fish point. Fish point is going to keep the back of the boat or front of the boat, whatever's preset in your CL7 display. It's going to keep the back of the boat in one spot and let the bow drift around. So we're going to stay here. This is the least aggressive. It's not going to shift. It's not going to get the high RPM. It's going to stay pretty quiet. Over deep water wrecks, fish typically aren't going to hear you on that. I'm going to clear this by hitting confirm. It's just letting you know it's activated. Next, you're going to have stay point. Stay point's your most aggressive. That's going to keep you in one spot with the same heading. That is going to make your engine shift a lot more. It's going to make them work against each other a lot to really keep you in one place. Right now, it's glass calm and barely any breeze out here, so these things aren't working too hard. But you can see we still, you know, we just got to about 800 RPM there. When you're in stay point, you can do a few different things. You can push this joystick to the side. You can see target position move 10 feet to the right. It's actually going to shift this boat to the right by 10 feet, keeping the same heading. Let's say while we're doing that, we also want to turn the bow. You can see right up there, target heading changed by 10 degrees. So the boat's going to start to adjust that way. And it's going to make those engines turn a lot more and get you to that desired desired heading and desired spot. Finally, if you want to move it forward, just push it forward. It's going to move you 10 feet further forward. This is really going to help in your docking when you're staging for like fuel or trying to get your dock lines together. Someplace and uh, where you can walk around the boat and not have to sit here and constantly move throttles, work with your joystick. You're just going to stay in one spot. Finally, you have your drift point. Drift point is going to keep your same heading, so it's going to keep the boat, your heading right here, but it's going to allow us to drift wherever the wind is taking us. So that's good for like the Atlantic guys when you're trying to kite fish off of one side or drift with the stream and fish off of one side of the boat. You're going to have all of your lines out one side and not keep getting tangled up. Once again, you can change your heading just by moving that. You don't have the, for the side shift feature just because it is drifting with the, with the current. But in order to even turn any of that stuff off, all you have to do is put the boat into gear. And that's going to deactivate joystick, stay point, drift point, any of that. With the new joystick, you also get new Yamaha uh, binnacle features too. 
So something that I like to do, even when I'm sea trial with clients, especially when there's kids on board, I like to put the boat into neutral hold. What that does is, if you guys are familiar with the older style where you had to push the button on the side of the binnacle, now you just press that neutral hold and it stays in there. So whenever I shift the boat, move my binnacles, the boat's not going into gear. It's really helpful if someone were to bump into these controls and when you're tied to the dock, you're not gonna jump forward, you're not gonna hurt anybody. Turn that off, and I'm gonna go to this next one, which is single lever. I like to get this one out of my way, and then the only one that really matters is this one here with your tilt and trim on it. Now this one's gonna take over and be the controls for both of the engines. I can raise my RPM, both of them are shifting. I can tilt trim with just this button here on the side, so this will tilt and trim both engines. I also have my independent tilt and trim right in here. And not to be confused with the new speed control that Yamaha put on here uh, for the new full maneuverability. Press the button down, that activates speed control. For guys that do a lot of king fishing over here on the Gulf Coast, we like to do what's called bump trolling, which is in and out of gear. Instead of me having to bring this boat in and out of gear, I can actually make the Hellmaster do it for me. So I go down to 40, you're going to watch my boat's going to shift to neutral. I'm not doing anything, and shift right back to drive. You can also bring that speed up pressing the button up here so you have the up and down bring this up and I can bring it up to different RPMs too it's really helpful in the, in the no wake zones especially if current or wind start brightening against you you can adjust that to stay at a certain RPM and it's just super easy mindless when you're going through there you can keep it out of no wake and not get your tickets to turn that off just move your throttle slightly and it's going to deactivate it One last thing I like to go, I want to go over on this is going to be your new autopilot feature. So this is the new controls down here. You have a few different features on here, which is the heading hold, course hold, track point, and pattern sear. Heading hold is going to be your most basic. It's going to keep the boat facing in the same direction and just go in that same direction. Course hold is going to keep you on the same course, so it's going to take into consideration the set and drift and other factors such as wind and current that might move your boat. Um, basically, you'd imagine it's going to set a infinite course in front of you and it's going to take you there. And then you have your track point. Track point is controlled by your Garmin up here. So let's say I'm going to set a waypoint. Let's do something that's a little bit further away, about a quarter mile. A little bit closer. So we're going to hit go to. And then I'm going to come down here and I'm going to hit track point. So now this is going to keep me on path to my destination that's right in here. Something really cool that they've updated to is that I'm going to bring RPMs up. When I get in within a certain distance, which I already have, it's in deceleration mode. So it's actually going to start to bring your RPMs down and slow you down to where you're at a at idle speed whenever you get on your spot. I have 500 feet to destination. I'm going to just hit OK there, deceleration mode. You can see I have 450. Still going to keep decelerating on me. change my RPMs. It's going to keep going down. Switch this one over to charts here. So now I am within 270, 260. And it's really slowing the boat down. I'm at an idle speed right now. And when I get on this spot, it's going to start to, uh, it's going to set an alarm telling me that I'm there and I can hit the fish point and keep my boat in the same place. Once I'm there in the same place, I can put these things into neutral here. Have my arrival alarm, I'm going to hit OK. And I can hit fish point and start fishing. Or getting lines ready, doing whatever I need to do. 
After I'm done all that, I can hit the stop navigation and clear that route.